The same referee who disobeyed court order and demolished buildings is also criticizing Buhari Danabola. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Dana Bala, while talking with Channel Television, said that Governor Nasser Rafai should not criticize President Buhari for disobeying, disobeying court order on Nari Note policy. He said that Governor Nasser Rafai has also disobeyed court order severally in the past. While he was talking, he said that Samir Rafai, who went against court orders in Kaduna State, is the same person criticizing President Buhari for disobeying court orders about Nara policy. Erufai has disobeyed court orders several times, and I can list them all for you. He continued, Erufai went against court order that restrained him from demolition buildings of citizens in Cardona State. He also went against court order that restrained him from sacking school teachers in Cardona State. Erufai had gone against court orders on several occasions as a governor in Cardona State, but he is still the same person fighting against President Buhari. He's still the same person fighting against President Buhari for going against court orders. Dana Bala also mentioned several other court orders that Governor Nasser Rafai has breached in the past and said he should not even criticize Buhari because he is also a typical example of a politician that has breached court orders in the past. Now, the thing is, in this particular situation, I've told the people, these people called politicians, eh? It is only when matters favors them that they come out, that they do keep quiet. Everybody who is coming out to scream, oh, it's affecting the people, the people of Cardinal says, blah, 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 they should not do this, they actually... How many times have you heard the governor of Cardinal State come out and speak against the Southern Cardinal killings? There are stuff from the one where they happen inside, make them to go far. Do you understand? He's coming out eh? in the Cardona state, they shoot the old news. People, Cardona people, make a refer, you know, the very soon now he will no longer be your governor. Make you no know, put in nice high tension. And look, eh, I, I just want to say the things we're speaking about in our policy. There's actually a kind of, should I say, not, not correct news, or should I target fake news, that um, the CBN has instructed people to start using the old note again. And I'm telling them, no, you people on your own know. The only news that I know the CBN did was as at um the what's it called? Uh, was it on the twelfth or on the thirteenth, I think, on the thirteenth of February, that is Monday, or the thirteenth of February, banks were not receiving the old note. If you take the old notes to them, you know, they're not going to receive it. Even down to the fifteenth. So what now happened is people started complaining. They want to go and deposit their old notes at the bank or they no agree collect them. Now CBN now said, okay, the banks, I'm giving you the authority to start receiving old notes. So you take the old notes, then you send it back to us. And then I am people where, you know, like you go to hear, then they collect them all. And I'm like, excuse you. Now one problem again, I think we are going to be having, and I'm talking to South Anasis, majority of us know they listen to news. But they like them, say them, say. And you know good. Apart from you listening to news, if, no matter where you get it from, try and make sure that particular news is verified. Just try. Because sometimes they will write something else and sometimes when you watch the video, there are two different things. They don't be the same. You see a video, you see a text, um, you see a text of a particular news that was video and that they are not the same. It's not, it does not make any sense. What goes around comes around. There are fights and so on. We don't even know him as Cardona State Governor in Buhari will trust. <laughs> okay. Well. The hooligan is quoting the Quran for president. Where did you keep the same Quran when you were busy disobeying custodians in Cardona? And I heard that he really did. As in Cardona people, majority of them died. Some of them died because of hypertension. Some of them died because of sickness. Because some of them died because of thinking. All of a sudden, you know, you're now the good person coming out to fight for the people because of what? Where were you when there was full scarcity? Where were you when inflation was biting hands on, biting hands on, hard on Nigerians? Where were you? All of a sudden, this full scarcity comes and boom, you are that Mr. Mr. Fight for Mr. Democracy, Mr. Good Person. And they see you now, but they see you. Didn't you know that God is a master planner? Haven't you seen that God has used burial plans to subdue your own evil plan? Hmm. Okay, 
What is good for the good is equally good for the gander. Don't people which you don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I am happy because of those policies. I am just saying the reaction you people should have given when similar things happened in the past is not what people gave. So that same reaction you hold, very cold, you know, distant, unbothered, is the same attitude you should maintain now. While I'm really sympathizing with those who have been in the don't they struggle and just you know getting cash struggle, the good, the cure, the banks, they they forgo their businesses for days just to get hold of cash. I sympathize with all of us. Hmm? All right. Uh, you're a hypocrite. The places where it demolishes those buildings are the place where you and your PDP occupy free of charge, be the magnificent estate day to day and performing. You are benefited from it, mostly PDP people. So, okay. If that's what you're saying. The whole truth is, shows how selfish our politicians are. Thank you. This person is understanding where I'm coming from. It shows how selfish these people are. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. But immediately matters touch them. At that time, their mouth will super glue gum go open. Erify is crying now because all his civil plan has failed. Nigerians will come after him. He will not live in government's house forever. The innocent blood the waiter will come after them. He is afraid now. His children and his entire family will call for help, but no Nigeria will listen to them. My dear, I will keep saying that I the way this thing happens, I, I it dissuades me. It not dissuades me, so it will suffer. But the way you think they affect politicians, it dissuades me. This is just a fraction of this is just the tip of iceberg of what we Nigerians go through. If police brutality no slap you eh, every day, force scarcity go slap you. If force scarcity no slap you, um, what's it called? Uh, you know, a lot of things. I don't even want to even start. If you talk, you go be like saying that you talk pass. If you talk to them, then go before you know they don't they don't give you one name like that. You understand? But now we will not be seeing all of us sit down for this mess. Nobody if you come outside. <laughs> we can go see what go do. We can see what go do. All this one is saying is for is for him. Because the United States people where has it been when Southern Cardinal book not even to go far? There were Southern Cardinal killings, even up till now. He has never I don't think he has ever. Anybody will get the video in you talk on based on those uh, killings that are happening in Southern Cardinal should come out. Should come out and um, you know should share with me. May I drop the link? But if you don't, but if you don't have, put it in the front or at the back of your mind. That the beauty about these things going on is we get to see, we get to perceive, we get to understand the kind of people that we are voting for, and we get to be convinced. There is no excuse of I don't know that this is how this person is. Majority of what we were not, we don't see. Our eyes have been open to see pre-election, so. Mind how you choose. Nigerians, pick your poison. On this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.